Marlins hosting the Padres, and the Padres are minus 120 on the money line. The Marlins are plus 100. Over under is at eight runs. Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. While the Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, they win. You'd win. Head to head, the home team is six and four. These teams are five and five against each other in their last ten. The underdog has won the last two games. The underdog is seven and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is nine and one. There have been five one run games in their last ten meetings, including two out of the last four and the game they played against each other yesterday. The under is seven and three in their last ten, and the under eight specifically is seven two and one musgrove pitched twice against the marlins last year seven innings two runs two earn they won that game three to two in san diego six innings three runs three earn they lost three nothing in miami lazardo pitched once against the padres last year six innings two runs two earn they lost that game two to one in san diego the Padres are 3-3 three and three as a team with Musgrove on the mound. He's averaging 5 innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game in those games. So a batter an inning. The Marlins are 7-3 and three as a team with Lazardo on the mound. He's averaging 5.1 innings pitched and 6.5 and strikeouts per game in those games. So depending upon what they set his over-under at as well for the strikeouts, you may want to consider taking him. Whenever they average like right at the number what the casinos usually set it at, I try to stay away because it's very seldom that the casinos lose. Now the wind is blowing in from dead center field at 8.1 miles per hour. This is the first day that it doesn't look like it's raining in their series that they've played against each other. So the roof actually may be open, but before you do bet on the game, go to the Marlins website and it'll tell you whether or not the roof is open or um, use a website like roofopen.com. It'll tell you what stadiums have the roof open. The game they played yesterday, the Marlins won 2-1. to one. The game before that, the Padres won 9-4, to four, and I know that because I bet the Marlins in that game and the Padres exploded for five, in, five runs in the top of the ninth inning. The Padres are 1-3 and three in their last four and 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Five runs, 17 runs, 13 runs, and three runs. Two runs and a loss, seven runs and a loss, nine runs and a win, one run in a loss. For the Marlins... They are 4-1 and one in their last 5 and 5-5 five and five in their last 10. 13 runs, 2 runs, 13 runs, and 3 runs. 8 runs in a win, 2 runs in a win, 4 runs in a loss, 2 runs in a win. I'm going to take the Marlins with the money line. I'm going to take the Marlins getting the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.